Hi, I'm Matthew Dalitz from the Science of Psychotherapy, and here's a quick snippet from our podcast. I'm talking with Richard Hill about incomplete sentences. So we're we're allowing things to emerge into the into the 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 conscious awareness. It might only be in the therapist. And here's one of the tricky things, which is really difficult, is where I have a wonderful slide where I'm doing the workshops, with, which says, it's very interesting what you know, but be very careful about how you express what you know and how it will affect the client. Hmm. Okay. So, and a, a real simple example, um, you know, somebody comes into the clinic and they're telling you their story about things and they're quite agitated and there's a lot of problems and tomorrow is really worrying them. And there's this very beautiful thing where you're very sensitively and caringly, you reflect back to the client that I hear you and I see that you're suffering from quite a deal of anxiety. And I know some wonderful things that we can do that can help you. Beautiful. But you have the situation that I had where I had a client talking about these things and was really quite physically, you know, sort of agitated. Mm. So we use a a technique, a recommended technique called the incomplete sentence, where you say that I know something, but actually I don't want, I don't really want to lay it on you. I'm wondering if by saying that what your reflection is. So you say to someone, ah, I've been listening and I can see that you're really starting to feel really quite... um, Right, okay. Now, human beings hate a vacuum, so they'll fill it with a word. And I had this lovely girl, and I thought, my God, you're so anxious. What are you doing? I, you know, I need to do a, a, a meditatory or a mindfulness process. And so I just left that ended sentence. And I can see right now that you're, you're actually feeling very... And in that brief pause, she said, oh, thank goodness, I'm so glad you said because I'm dying to go to the bathroom. Ah... Uh, <laughs> oh. Thank God I didn't ruin her experience by saying you're anxious and label her uh, with this, with this, um, with this unnecessary, uh, this unnecessary um, dictation from me. Right, right. I love that technique. Even though yeah. I'm being kind and gentle. Even, even as you're describing that technique, you know that we we have this um, compulsion in us to finish the sentence, right? So, it's yeah. a natural thing. You, they can't avoid it. Of course, you can't just do it all the time. No. I mean, the, the, you've got to mix and match, and there are a lot of different ways we do it. Well, if you want to know more about the science of psychotherapy, come across to our website, thescienceofpsychotherapy.com, and our podcast of the same name, and learn more about the science of you.